we know that some of you may have been asked to go on furlough by your employers. And so uh, here at NABS, we wanted to provide you with some information about what that might mean for you. The following information is correct as at the 3rd of April 2020. Of course, if you do need more information or guidance about your situation, don't hesitate to contact us on support at nabs.org.uk or you can contact us on our dedicated advice line 0800 707 6607. Our opening hours are Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 30. If you've been asked by your employer to be on furlough, this is an opportunity for your employer to keep you on the payroll whilst they may not be able to operate their business or they just may not have enough work for you. Uh, this is, as I say, called furloughing and it's being enabled by a government initiative, the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme. Uh, it enables employers to pay 80% of your wage capped at two and a half thousand pounds gross per month and you do have to pay tax and national insurance from that salary the employer will do this through their own payroll and they will claim it back from the government and the scheme is due to start at the end of april so to be eligible for the furlough scheme you have to have been on the company payroll, P-A-Y-E, on the 28th of February. This can apply to a range of contracts, whether it's zero hour, temporary or full time, but be very clear, it doesn't apply to those who are self-employed and there are different government initiatives to support uh, self-employed people, which we'll uh, speak about later. You may also be eligible for furlough if you were made redundant after the 28th of February. If your company agrees, then they can rehire you and put you on furlough. That would mean paying you 80% of your salary up to £2,500 gross a month. And the company can backdate that to the 1st of March. You may also be eligible for furlough if you had resigned but were still on your company's payroll on the 28th of February and if your new job has fallen through as a direct result of the coronavirus situation. In this instance, your employer can agree to rehire you and furlough you again at the 80% of your salary which is capped at two and a half thousand pounds gross a month and again that can be backdated to the 1st of March. However we are all still waiting for the detailed guidelines to be published by the HMRC um, about employees who have resigned and so uh, it's understandable that employers that may well be reluctant to take this option at the moment until they understand fully what the consequences and what the detail uh, of what they can and can't do uh, has been made very clear. What we would really encourage is as an employee, uh, if you have resigned, um, keep those communication lines open with your employer so that once the uh, more detailed guidelines have come out, uh, hopefully they will at least consider what the options might be for you. Whether you accept furlough is up to you. You do have to agree, as does your employer. If you are interested in furloughing, it's going to be important that you understand the terms and conditions that your employer uh, is uh, uh, suggesting and ask them, and they should be uh, anyway writing to you uh, to confirm everything as a variation to contract. Uh, and if you've got any concerns uh, about those changes to terms and conditions, we would really encourage you to discuss what the options are with your employer. If you have discussed the options with your employer and 
don't wish to agree to furlough, then uh, the options for the employer are they may have to uh, make your role redundant. However, very importantly, they must still apply all the normal fair rules around uh, making that redundancy process. The furlough scheme runs presently from the 1st of March to the end of May. You can, as an employee, be furloughed at any time during that period, but it has to be for a minimum of three weeks. Your employer can furlough you immediately for longer than that, but if they do furlough you for three weeks, again, they can immediately furlough you for another minimum period of three weeks. Obviously, uh, there is a possibility that this whole scheme will extend beyond the end of May, depending upon what the government decides. The amount that you will receive whilst you're on furlough is uh, directly linked to the grant that employers uh, can get from the government, and that will be 80% of your average monthly salary capped at two and a half thousand pounds gross. The company can choose to top that up to your 100% salary if they wish to, but it is at their discretion. You will have to pay your national insurance and uh, tax out of that uh, maximum two and a half thousand pounds per month. Uh, however, companies uh, have an employer's contribution and pension contribution to pay that they can apply to the government for that does not come out of the 80% of your wage. We appreciate you may still have more questions about uh, the situation regarding furloughing. Uh, we haven't covered uh, many of the other elements but just some basic information at the moment. Um, so do please feel free to contact us on the advice line. Uh, our advisors will be able to help you. The best way of contacting us is either uh, by emailing us on support at nabs.org.uk or on our dedicated advice line 0800 707 6607. If you can, let us know uh, what your availability for a callback is as well. Um, and both of those, uh, whether it's on a call or on email, uh, that would be really, really useful for our advisors. Thank you.